All right, here with West Potomac Class of 2019 guard Daryl Mack Jr. here at the Metro South Spring League at Potomac High School. Daryl, it's, it's hard to believe. It seemed like just yesterday I was watching as a freshman in this uh, league. Uh, you're about to start your senior season coming up. I know it's a few months away here. you got summer. But, uh, it seemed like just yesterday you were a freshman? It's been a really long time, so it's not... <laughs> it's really, hasn't like, really felt like it's just been a freshman because it's been a lot. Like, we have a lot of spring, summer, and fall stuff, so it's... We've actually been, been like forever. <laughs> now, your, your freshman sophomore year, as you guys go to state tournament, you were one of the leaders of the team with Khalil Williams Diggins. And then last year as a junior, you guys didn't go to state, out to a slow start. You had a great individual season, 24 points per game, Gunston District Player of the Year. How did you help this team turn around with a lot of new faces? I really just had to know my role and kind of take over my role. And I also try to get other teammates open shots and kind of just know my teammates a lot better than me. Like past years. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my coach has also been asking out of you to be more of a playmaking guard or a combo type guard because early on in your career you were a shooting guard. Is that what you think you'll just show college for the next level? You can be a point guard too, even as a scoring point guard. I think I can. I'm showing that I can be a point guard too because I'm not the tallest person. So okay. playing point guard or being a guard, I could probably do both. Like getting more, like working on being a point guard, I still have to do that. But I think I can show. Them. 24 points per game, you've been All-State each of the last two years. Safe to say your strength as a player is shooting and or scoring? Yeah, I would say that, but also I would say my athleticism is a big key to my game too. I still got a lot of stuff to work on, but those two, athleticism and scoring is my big key. Point. What's different in your game? What have you gotten better at since you entered high school? My handles has improved a lot. I couldn't dribble at all. I had to do was just take the ball and shoot a layup when I was playing in middle school in the younger league. But handles I had to improve a lot because the higher level people play defense and lock up. So my handle has improved a lot since freshman year. Growing up in Virginia, you see a lot of great basketball players. Yeah. You were in a tough district. You moved from the patient to the Gunston district. Did you did you need the high school, college, or any say programs that you kind of looked up to and kind of studied to be a shooter as? Or? Well, a lot of people look up to this guy, Stephen Curry. Okay. I would like to say, I, would, I don't want to be a bandwagon, but I've saw him for before he was Curry. And he was kind of like, really like flared, uh, frail. And he's small, but he's really just in his head and finding ways to get him to score. That's a key person I would like up to. Mm -hmm. Come on for you. Uh, College wise recruiting, let's talk about that a little bit. Who's expressing some interest in you because you don't have any offers just yet, right? No. Okay. Who's who the school's talking to you at the moment? Uh, I would say St. Mary's. Uh, I would say Georgetown. Uh, there's American, George Mason, just some basically the local schools in the area right now. Yeah. Other grades, uh, classroom. Honorable. Stay on it, yeah. Okay, you know what you want to study in college? I have not studied yet. Okay. Um, what schools do you plan on visiting here in the summer? Are you going to play with Team Takeover here on the travel circuit? Do you have any plans in terms of seeing some campuses? Oh, uh, I haven't really like thought of that yet, but I would say some schools I would like to visit are up north or further west. <laughs> I'll ask you for you, what would you tell a college coach why they should recruit you? And what are you looking to improve in your game as you go on this circuit here, in addition to playing with West Potomac here at the Spring League? I would say I'm a good player, a good, good person too. A teammate is being a good person on and off the court. And also, I believe I could score fairly well. So that's what I would say to a college coach. You get buckets every time I see you play. Lastly, um, I imagine the thoughts are, or the goals, I should say, are pretty lofty for you guys. You've been to States before. Didn't have the type of record you won last year, but you're back. Jonas Munson's back. Some key pieces are back from the squad. Uh, give me your, your opinion on what you guys can do and what it will take to get to your goals. I would say we still have a good group, a lot of people coming back. I just say we just really have to really lock down and focus on our weaknesses. And if we get stronger on those, I think we will be doing pretty good this coming season. That's West Potomac Class of 2019 guard Daryl Mackey Jr. He might be a sleeper son, but not for long. Thanks so much.